just had this cut yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah, this piece right here. I said, oh God, they can't get to the building. Now the grass was cut out there, but we forgot to get this. As soon as everybody come over, I just want to make sure nobody falls in the water. Oh, Deacon Hudley is coming. No, it's me. Oh, he is coming. So moving and yeah. so so real. Yeah. Yeah, we just took them up for uh, the city to do the lawn. Okay. <laughs> that was one thing. You know that was right when you saw it. It's all wood and brick. So now they built the concrete block. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. 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 How many times have we done it so far? Really? Okay. Taking the lights up and put them back. Awesome. Yeah. That's a workout. I like the way he's he said, we, the last time, I couldn't find y'all. So it was not that. You did not let nobody know. Oh, that's what it is. So I think Deacon Hartley can give us some history doing the cabbage growing. If I'm not mistaken, I was a little too young to do the cabbage picking. But Deacon Hartley, he's Deacon Hartley, but he's also the chair of the Mackintosh County NAACP. And we have a lot of people here, some retired from New York. Ms. Wink is here. And uh, we also have Ms. Eunice Moore uh, 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 from the Munjan family, which I learned a lot about my own ancestry through the Munjan family, between her and Doc Collins. They are the researchers. He's not going to tell you the other side. <laughs> he related to us, but he don't want to be. Oh, no, <laughs> no, no, yeah. <laughs> Everybody in Mackinac County is related, trust me. Yeah. Okay. She is Queen Mother. We call her Queen Mother. She spent a lot of awakening hours trying to make this happen. Uh, seven days a week now, I should say. So all we're gonna do now is meet up front here. The stairways are not stable, but being that this is a historical visit, we thought everybody should come here. I think the year was 1927 uh, when the Colonel bought it. Kathleen, I, I want to know, and I don't know now, uh, is it was a tax sale? Tax sale? Yeah. I don't know how much he paid in the tax sale. But that should be, that's young enough, it should be in the court record. But it was a tax sale. But I don't know the exact amount. Now this is good herbs right here. I use that myself. What is that? Those are good herbs. They call it Romax. The other thing that we used to call it is the, remember the little grass that grew on the side of the road and we sucked the juice out of it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they call it sour grass, but it's another name. That's the sister or the brother of it. And uh, you can use that as a herbal medicine, and I've used it. I had a toothache about nine years. No, not nine years. I'll be more fair. Seven years ago, and I used the herb, and uh, and uh, the tooth stopped hurting. That's no joke. But it is an herb. You can look all that information uh, up, Romax. These are not stable. Uh, we're in the process of getting some funding to start the process of evaluating. So if you come up, let somebody help you. This one is a little bit more. But do not use them uh, fully. And those of us that need help, even me, walk more careful. And before we all pile up on there, let me go ahead and unlock the door first. Uh, but you can walk more in the center, and we'll walk with some of you. Whoever I walk with, if you fall, you fall on me, and you see how small I am, okay? But uh, we'll do what we can. And pile up on you. No, I, I can't. 
Now, after we leave here, this was just put up temporarily. You can keep coming up because we don't want to, anything we can save. Where you are, man, you're for a little while. Let everybody walk on this side of you. Okay. You can go. You can go in this open space right there. We purposely didn't clean it up because we wanted you guys to see some of the history, as it is before any rehab start. We hadn't even swept the floor. We're not going to stay long because we have to head to City Hall. <laughs> see what time is. Perfect. We'll do five minutes in here, and we should be to City Hall at about 1.45. I talked with Councilman Skeen because I didn't have time to get the water, so he's got some water there for each of us if you want some water. Be careful. It's not open to the public at all. I think Deacon Huller and myself and probably a few others, I know Kathleen, we had a lot of meetings in here with Nature Conservancy. And, uh, yep, a lot of meetings in the 90s, I think it was. Yep. <laughs> okay, that's it? Okay, then. We got about five minutes in here. If it's something to be shared, say it a little bit louder. I, um, Sister Eunice was just saying that this, go ahead, say what you just said. This is the overseer's house where her dad, her. Oh, yes. This is the site. Yes. The, the site. site. The site. Right. Right. Not the Not original the house. house, but the yeah. same, the site of, the, right. of yes. where his house yeah. would have been. Right. Now, right. I, I don't know, if, uh, but I think I can probably get it from Christy Lambert. She's still here under the Nature Conservancy. Uh, Nature Nature but we know he died, the colonel, the part owner of the Yankees, in his office, at his desk. So I don't know which one is his office. I think it is that room. This one or that one? Okay, this is let's go for his sister. Now, you can tell me this thing. That's the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Miss Vick, that I know. Yes. Yes. And that's why it says if we're going to tell the story, just like you know, that's the problem plantation. And that's the story. If you're going to tell our story, you have to tell your story. Yes. And oh, okay. Yes. Deacon Hudley says something. Can we bring it in here? Keep the conversation. Right. We know we're not going to stay long, but keep the conversation. This is where they said Deacon Hudley had some information. Hudley, say that again when everybody get in here. Hold up. Ian and I kind of guessing a little bit to see what he has a little bit more. Possibly this is where the colonel died. We know he died at his death. Put, put some money in my hand so I can tell you. Oh, money? Oh. Yeah. Let's see if I got a dollar. <laughs> Hey, President? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Far as I know, I'm one of the, the living ones that lived in this house. Pull that down just a little bit. Thank you. Can you hear me now? Oh, my uncle used to be the caretaker. He used to be a house sitting right over there. Mm -hmm. The name was William Baker. And I played with Mr. Brown's son and daughter. Right over there, he used to have a dollhouse. Right. He used to go upstairs and play. Now, the big store, he and I used to go gig frogs. I didn't know anything about frog. I used to go over there, we used to walk across that dead low tide, across the river there, over in that point. And one day, his mom said to me, he said, come on, go to the Red Cross with us. Get in the car with them, and they went to the Red Cross, took the Red Cross, and right now, today, that restaurant, is the frog restaurant is still there. That's what he was carrying his frog and selling and they give me no money. Oh! <laughs> you know, that was a problem with it. I didn't go hunt, give him a frog with him anymore. But yes, uh, this is the road. It's, it's been years, uh, we came back when we got teenagers, we used to pick letters and the medicine and stuff over there. 
I felt like you knew a little about this when I saw you come around that way. As many <laughs> times as I've been here, I didn't know you could drive all the way around. Yeah, we're uh, we're yeah. going to walk back out here because it's hot, but I wanted, while he's here, we're going to let you know what part of history that happened here, uh, as you can see. We don't know who did it. My guess is probably with some younger African Americans, but we don't know. No one knew. But the first report came out that they came in and tore down all the chandeliers. So I was afraid to walk in. I didn't see any chandeliers tore down, which I was grateful. Mm -hmm. But somebody came in and they, they did do some of the graffiti, and we decided to not erase it. Right. Maybe mm -hmm. after this historical visit. But uh, we wanted to be recorded so later on in years that we can say this was a part of America's history when we were in a big uproar in America, okay? Griffin, let me go? say something. Sure, before. sure. Um, young man, I want to tell you, when we pour libations for our ancestors, we never know what form they're coming back in. Yes, we just saw one of them flying around here a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. And he was near you, so that means <laughs> you oh. are very special. Oh. Wow. The last time when we put up the plaque, outside there and we poured those libations when we left we went to the restaurant miss eunice and i and when we got to that restaurant guess what was with us what was it miss eunice a bumblebee a bumblebee yes and we haven't seen one of those in how long and that's why i says you never know how those ancestors are going to be yes. and like mr hudley is saying when he grew up when i was a little girl we walked from darien over here then they grew cucumbers and lettuce. The bridge was not cement, it was a wooden bridge then. And we walked over here to pick lettuce and cucumbers. And that's how we made our little, I think like maybe 25 cents they would give us, you know, for a bushel or whatever we picked up. Living history is a little cool out here. Yes, yes. thank you. History. Thank you. Ms. Mayfield, as you walk out, you are correct, because the public don't know, but I can say it and get away with it, because I'm an old man too. You are correct. Come on, keep on walking. It's not in there. Yes. Servant Emmanuel is the one that is funding 100% of the slave, slave dwelling for October. The public didn't know that. But since that time, he's been blessed and looks like he's gonna get some help with that funding. But he went in his own pocket. You feel it? They're giving us a little air. Oh yeah, we need it. Oh, do you keep those blinds down or up? Uh, well, it, we kind of leave them almost like the way that they are, but we can dial them in up for them. Because all of them are gonna be replaced, we know. But right now, we're not doing anything. But we will be cleaning up probably next month. Well, Griffin, what Nine. happened to all the furniture that was here? Well, Nature Conservancy used to be in here. And probably before them, who knows who walked out with what. Keep in mind, this place has been dormant, not even boarded up. It's kind of like, thank God for the Black Lives Matter, because after Black Lives Matter, whoever it was did it, we boarded everything up. Right. Because they can steal everything out of here, because this, this is history. Mm -hmm. But before you all take the rest of what's in here, like the shades and whatnot, mm -hmm. we need to uh, preserve them to something if it's not, not but a background for something on display. Right. Oh, yeah, no, no. That's why I said nothing we have moved out of here. Nothing. Let me say, but what's left? You yes. say we don't need these and we're not going to never use it, but we could use it for Oh, yeah, for history. Griffin, remember yes. that D and R families lived here for years who were the managers of Butler Island. Oh. A lot of families grew up here, the Bryants. Um, but then afterwards, we had um, numerous families who came and lived here. Um, and I'll think of it in a minute, the families, but the kids. So there's a lot of, there were furnishings, but they brought their own furnishings. Right. And, and lived. That original furniture. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, Reynolds bought. Me and I kind of guessing a little bit to see what he has a little bit more.